Hello and welcome to my story time. Today I want to tell you how I myself became a furry. And I want to tell you about all the things that happened. So lay back and enjoy. So the first thing I have to say is it was around 10 years ago my sister really liked Michael Jackson for whatever reason. I mean he makes good music. And there was this thing called beaded PMV. So for those of you who don't know, PMV stands for Pony Music Video and it's a My Little Pony related thing. And my sister, she just showed me this and I don't know why, I really liked it. I really liked the characters, the movement, the whole video, it was just really good. And um, yeah, then I searched up for it a, bit, a little bit and I really fall in love with this stuff. It's not exactly the show itself. I mean the show is good but yeah, it's okay. But what I really loved about this is the whole stuff around the show the music, the videos, the artists, the drawings, everything. Just the community around it was so big, so nice. And there are so many artists out there who really just can sing really well or can draw really good. It was just great. So this took place in my life for around seven years. Seven years, yeah, around seven years. And then I also tried to do some Minecraft Let's Plays. Uh, I'm honest, uh, I'm not as good as you may think. Yeah, so I started trying out le Minecraft Let's Plays and I don't know, it just wasn't that good. It was just nothing for me. But then I found a Let's Player who I really liked. It was a small one, so he was very kind. He made good videos for the start. And I really liked him. And I got in touch with him. And we once decided to come on. Let's stream together, why not? We made a little server and streamed with four or five guys. And then I thought, hey, come on. Why don't I reactivate my old YouTube channel and just try it out? Maybe it will work. Yeah. So I reactivated my old YouTube channel with the My Little Pony stuff. And for whatever reason, I don't know, YouTube decided to show me an first router called Sparky. If you want to see her on YouTube, uh, oh shit, I will show you if I can handle this. Yeah, so. Wait, I never tried to to type with the pause on Sparky Bytes. This is her. This is her channel. And this video here is what I got shown. I don't know, maybe because I like the motorcycles, because I myself collect some motorcycles and YouTube decided, hey, he likes the My Little Pony stuff, he likes motorcycles, let's show him this video. So yeah, YouTube showed me this and I didn't think a lot about it, I just clicked on it, watched it and then I just fell in love again and this time with this fursuit. I mean, 
this girl, she is a fursuit maker, fursuit creator. So the fursuit was just really good. And the acting of her, it was just really nice. It was such, such a cute and a nice and cool thing to see that I said, hmm, that's cool. Then I watched the second movie, that's really cool. And then I watched the third on and the, the fourth video and something in my brain just clicked. Just went click. I want to do this too. I want to be a fursuiter. This is so nice, so cool. Just playing a whole different character. Then you are outside of suit. And yeah, then I got into the fandom and I really love the fandom. There's so many cool guys around here. And um, I got in touch with someone who owns a couple of fursuits and he asked me, hey, you want to try on my old suit? And I just went, yeah, sure, of course, let's try it out. So I drove to him, I put him on his old fursuit and we were suiting together and this was just incredible. I mean, my first expressions, it was heavy, it was hard to breathe, hard to see. But to be honest, this fursuit also wasn't that good, so I don't know, it was just uh, hard to breathe and to see in it. It's much easier in this suit or in the other suit I have. So I don't know, bad design or something like this. Yeah, but... Um, this was my first time in a first student. It was just great. I was enjoying it so much. I still have to say thank you to giving me the um, the chance to try this out. It was just great. Yeah, then I got in touch with a first suit maker or a girl who made her own first suit once. And I just asked her, hey, you want to try it for me? And she said, yes, let's try it. And she made me a fursuit. And it was a really good fursuit. It had a schnee party base, I think it's called, from the head. Um, and I still have it. I just don't feel to wear it anymore. Because it's a completely different character from butterscotch maybe I'll do it later someday but yeah then I got butterscotch and then some stuff happened which I'm not really proud of I yeah just bad things I don't want to talk about this here so I got silent for one and a half years yeah, and now I decided, hey, I want to come back, I want to do this again, I want to try to make videos and yeah, just let's see how this works out. So here I am now, I'm a furry for almost four years now, it's, it's way longer than I thought, I, I don't know. I think it's because of COVID the time just passed away. Yeah. And I also want to talk about my parents. So unfortunately my mother passed away. She didn't saw any of this. But I think she would like it too. She liked a lot of stuff I did and yeah. But my father, he's absolutely cool with it. He also goes out on a fursuit walk sometimes with us uh, as a spotter and makes photos and everything and my sister also likes it she sometimes came with us and made photos and it's just great to have such a nice family there yeah 
So this is the story how I became a furry and I just have to say besides of some bad things the main thing, the, the big thing is just wonderful. You meet so many guys who you can do so much stuff and you don't even need to, to own a fursuit. Just liking this stuff is enough in this fandom. I, for myself, I decided the way that I won the first suit and go suiting, but you don't have to and it's just great. Yeah, so thank you for your time. I hope you like this video and see you next time. Bye!